Breaking news, a shooting at Law & Cantata. We have team coverage near the mall where Pima County sheriffs are still working the scene. First, let's go ahead and go live to Whitney Clark. Whitney. That's right, Stella. Well, right now we are in a staging area where we just spoke to the Pima County Sheriff's Department. This is what we know so far about the shooting. Two men have died. There was another woman who was shot in the leg area with non life threatening injuries. She is in the hospital at this point. Now, what deputies have told us is that uh, this happened at around 730 inside the Firebirds restaurant here at Lawn Cantata. That's on the north side of the mall for the people that are familiar with this area. That was at 730 on a Friday night, a very busy place at the time. Now, we do know that the three people involved were all known to each other. It's unclear at this point uh, what their relationships are. There was one in a uh, gun involved in this incident is what the sheriff's department is telling us, but we're not sure exactly uh, what led up to this shooting. Now, right now where we are is uh, an area they just had blocked off for uh, media staging. This happened on the north side of the property. When I got there, there were about maybe 20 deputy cars, even more. So this is a, a very large scale investigation and scene in a very fresh uh, situation as well. At this point, uh, they have witnesses in the double digits. They're really trying to talk to everyone. Everyone that was in the restaurant at the time of the shooting was able to get out safely. So again, we do know that two men have died. Another woman uh, was shot in the leg area and she has non life threatening injuries. We're still uh, learning more more developing situation. For now, we'll send it back to you, Stella. Whitney, thank you. And as you mentioned, police do have a lot of work to do. Let's go ahead and go live to Craig Smith, who has also been on the, on the scene for the last three hours. Craig, what can you tell us? Well, we were able to achieve a slightly different angle, and let's go ahead and give you a look at it now. We have an overlook from off the mall property, and from here you can get a better idea of some of the activity, and uh, it is a lot of activity still going on. This is clearly a scene that will be active for some time to come. Now, maybe you can pick them out a little bit, uh, clustered exactly right in front of fire, uh, Firebirds, which would be sort of to the left to the left of the screen. Uh, that is That appears to be, from our distance here, a collection of witnesses that are waiting to be questioned by the Sheriff's Department. Typically, what will happen in a case like this is they'll have a provision where they can pull each of them aside individually and collect their account of what they saw and heard. So one person's account does not influence influence the next witness's account. Now we can go ahead and show you a little video that shows uh, just how busy this was a little bit earlier. It has calmed down a little bit, but as I say, it's going to be a busy scene for quite some time to come. And now we can move to one of those witnesses, her account. She tells us that when all these all this started happening when she heard the shots. The main thing on her mind was to protect the people with her. Get on top of my girls, get on top of all the kids we had with us and just make sure they were safe, make sure that they felt safe and to get them out of there as soon as they possibly could. Now, so again, what we have is a scene as they meticulously get all these people, question all, this, all these witnesses, get their contact information for follow-up for follow contacts to fine-tune the account of what happened, uh, and that's going to take quite some time. Uh, this is a painstaking process. A lot of witnesses in this case, a lot of crimes, they just have a, a small handful of witnesses. In this case, it was really a, a massive collection of people, and we can count, uh, count things lucky that uh, fewer that just three people were actually directly involved in this particular incident. But that's the scene we have from this overlook over this crime scene now. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9 on your side. Craig, this is a Friday night. Obviously, like as you, as you mentioned, a busy night for this to happen. Tomorrow is Saturday. Do we have any word how long this investigation could take and if the restaurants will open up tomorrow? No, that's, that's really something that we could not know from our vantage point right now. In some cases, this could be a, a management call on the part of, of the restaurant as well, that even if the sheriff's department is uh, well taken care of and, and done with uh, its investigation, they may just decide that it's just a little too touchy to be open uh, so soon after an incident like this. And But again, we're just speculating on what actions they may take. Okay, Craig, thank you very much. And we also have Jenny Martinez, who is live at Lyme. Cantata. Jenny, what can you tell us? 
Well, Stella, I can tell you that I was just near the scene and there were a lot of witnesses standing outside of Firebirds. Now, they tell me that they were asked to for counseling services and some witnesses that I spoke to that were in another restaurant, the North restaurant, they said that the Sheriff's Department responded immediately and they're, they're offering some services for the witnesses. Now, that mother was here celebrating her daughter. We're here celebrating a birthday with my daughter and my family and some friends. Uh, we had just been served our dinner and we heard a couple of gunshots. Um, the girls were surprised. It's certainly a sound that uh, is going to be memorable. And uh, immediately after that, we were told to get down. Everybody huddled, huddled under the tables. And her daughter was celebrating her 13th birthday and said something to the effect that 13 is bad luck. Now, I did speak to a group of friends who were dining at the North restaurant, as I mentioned, and they tell me that they didn't hear any gunshots, but the manager of the North uh, restaurant actually went inside and told everyone to get underneath their tables. They, they say that this was a very scary moment. Stella, back to you. Jenny, thank you. As you can imagine, yeah, two people dead there, one uh, non-life-threatening injuries. We are hearing from officials right now on the details of the shooting. This is Deputy Cody Gress from the Pima County Sheriff's Department. Let's take a listen. Uh, we quickly learned uh, that the altercation and the incident was uh, contained to within the restaurant and the restaurant only. Um, we were also able to quickly confirm that two males, two adult males, uh, were confirmed deceased inside the restaurant from apparent gunshot wounds. Uh, we have one female uh, who also resulted, who also uh, suffered uh, some non-life threatening uh, injuries from a, a gunshot wound to the leg. Uh, she is currently being treated uh, at a, a local hospital here. And again, it is expected that her injuries are non-life threatening. So again, all three people knew each other. This was not random. We're gonna get some more information and we'll be right back with more coverage of the shooting right after the break. You're watching KGON 9 on your side.